Hi guys, it's JC, and I'm doing another tag. I hope you're not bored with them. Um, I kind of like doing them, they're fun. I, I, I kind of learn a little bit about myself, and um, so if, if no one likes to watch them, turn it off. <laughs> uh, this one is the 10 Questions to Know My Subbies by Princess Wen. Hi, Princess Wen and family. Um, so I'll post the questions in the down bar if anyone else wants to do it too. Uh, the first question is your three favorite things. Um, I I kind of have two different categories of my three favorite things. Um, I'm gonna do you know like the big meaningful things in my life that I love, and then the three you know kind of fun objects that I love. So. Um, one of my favorite things is my family, of course. Um, that's from the left, my youngest brother John, me, my dad, uh, the middle brother Rob, I am the oldest, and my mom. This was taken a long time ago, a long time ago, like over 10, 15, really long time. But, of course, they're one of my favorite things. Uh, my second other favorite thing is my cat. There's Felony. Hi, Felony. And Sadie. Psst, psst. Sadie. Hi. Uh, animals have always been... It's been mostly cats in my life. I've never had a dog. Um, I've had a lot of cats go through my life. Uh, we've taken a lot of strays. Only if they come up to us, you know, if they if they look like they need help. At one point, we took in a cat who was pregnant, so we got to watch the birth. And uh, we found them all homes. So, uh, that was a pretty amazing experience. And, you know, I, I would never be a cat hoarder, you know. I, I would be afraid. That scares me. But if a cat comes up to me and it looks like they need food or help or whatever, then I take it in and take care of it. I don't go out searching for cats, though, so... Cats! Um, the third favorite thing is the river. And here's a picture. And this is the Mississippi River. I live in Minnesota, so um, the St. Croix River uh, borders us in Wisconsin and the Mississippi River. And my husband and I have a little um, speedboat that's just perfect for the two of us. Uh, and we go camping. And it's just an amazing thing. I know camping is not high on some people's priority, but um, there's little islands in the middle of the river, and you don't have to pay to camp there. You just you have to limit your your time spent there, and it's quiet, and you have whole island to yourself, and it's just an amazing, amazing experience. So the river is one of the favorite things in my life. Uh, and I'm not including my husband in this list because I am currently mad at him right now. Otherwise, he might have made it on the top three. But those are the like, top meaningful favorite things in my life. Um, <laughs> my favorite three, like, things <laughs> um, are agates, which I find on the river. Um, this is the very first one I ever found, and I think this is what started my addiction because it's a pretty decent size one and it's pretty cool so I hunt for rocks all the time agates is one my second favorite thing is well they, no particularly order I love them all but dandelions I love dandelions I know they're weeds but I think they're so pretty in this form and the yellow form I think they're gorgeous I buy things with dandelions on them a lot dandelions and my third is peacock feathers I am in love with the colors and the look of peacock feathers. If it has a peacock feather on it, I buy it. And this one's cool because it's glitter too. Perk. An extra special plus. So those are the three cutesy things that I like the most. Uh, my three favorite colors. Let's see. I'm going to do a show and tell here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This is my closet. I don't know if you can tell, but... The majority in here is purple and blue. <laughs> like, 
that's all I seem to gravitate towards in the store and all I buy, so purple and blue are teal, mostly teal, is my favorite favorite, and purple would come in a close second. And my third favorite color probably would be um, kind of a maroon, deep pink. I don't like girly light pink. I like a deep, deep pink, maroon, burgundy, whatever. So that is my three favorite colors. Let's see. Um, go back to looking at this. Uh, what is the third question here? When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I always wanted to be a graphic designer. And I did actually go to graphic design school down in Arizona. Um, except I don't have very good drawing ability, which is a big part of it. I have all the ideas. I just can't get it look nice on paper. So... Um, I still do kind of want to be. I want to go back to school for that. Um, I just need to find a school that's more into uh, the computer part of it instead of the drawing because I am a terrible, terrible drawer. Um, let's see. My biggest or proudest accomplishment? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't have any kids. I never finished school. I sound depressing. Uh, that probably is my biggest accomplishment right there. Um, I kind of battle with depression, and just making it through every day is a real, real powerful thing. Um, so I think finding happiness is one of my biggest accomplishments, and I don't always find it, you know, a day to day thing. Uh, let's see. What would be the most daring thing you could do today? Um, gosh, I don't know. I want to say maybe like one of those extreme rides or jump out of a plane or something because I'm terrified of that. I don't think I ever would. So for me to get on something like that would be a pretty <laughs> great thing. Or, you know, daring. I don't know. If I get my butt up and go back to school, I would be so proud of myself. So I guess that you consider that daring. Uh, let's see. Other than crafts, what do I do? Um, I spin poi, um, which is, here's uh, my practice poi right now, which is just two tennis balls in a long sock. Um, I don't know if you guys know what poi is. It's just kind of like spinning it around and doing tricks. It's pretty cool to see. Um, you should look it up online, P-O-I uh, is what it is, and I'm decent. Um, my goal is to get good enough where I can spin fire, um, and I'm in my room here, I'm not going to, and I don't have a way to set up the camera to show you. Um, maybe I'll make that a video one of these days, uh, spinning poi. Um, I am not good enough for fire yet, I would burn my face off, I think, but eventually... I want to be, because I want to spin fire, because it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Favorite music artist of all time. That's hard. I don't think I like a lot, you know, and um, I guess the one that sticks in my head the most is 311, who was big in my life um, growing up. You know, they were the, they were the ones that I kind of loved the most. Not really anymore. Um, I mean, they still make some good music, but it's, I'm, I'm not really into, I don't know, I don't know. They're good. I just, it, they're not my favorite. I don't know if I really have a favorite anymore. I like a lot. I like Mumford and Sons. I like Florence and the Machine, The Mu uh, Muse, um, 30 Seconds to Mars. I really like kind of alternative rock, I guess. But that's hard. I don't have a favorite. Uh, my birthday was January 5th. I just turned 33. Um, so I'm a Capricorn. Yay. My favorite food uh, would be pasta. Spaghetti, fettuccine. Anything that's carb and gets me fat. I love. <laughs> uh, my favorite song on the radio right now. 
Um, again, that's hard. I like a lot, a lot of songs. Um, I guess something by Mumford and Sons when they come on, the radio usually gets cranked up really, really loud. So, I don't know. And I don't have a particularly, uh, a particular song of theirs. I like them all, so that's a hard one, too. <laughs> Ask easier questions. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was it. Um, hope, uh, it wasn't too boring. Alright, thanks. Bye.